What's up everyone? Welcome back to American Hot Shot Simulator. I mean American Truck Simulator. But today we are actually doing a hot shot load using Mason's Mod Shop's beautiful 1986 Ford F-350 dually truck and the free gooseneck trailer that did come with the, the uh, mod. So we are currently out here at Walmart in Pensacola, Florida. And we are taking a load of brand new computers to Leonard in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Now this is actually our first time doing anything hot shot related. So uh, should definitely be a fun one for sure. A very short trip could not find anything over 250 miles uh, for this mod. So I may have to try to look into longer jobs or something. But yes, it is a very short trip today. But nonetheless, we do have a beautiful looking Ford truck. Now, I'm not really a fan of Fords, but this one actually looks really, really nice. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys like the different customization options and whatnot uh, towards the end of the video. But let us go ahead and load up our load of computers here. Alright, so the sun is going to rise on us here. It's about 6.45 in game time. The cargo is loaded. Let us go ahead and start up this truck here. Man, that is a beautiful sounding diesel engine right there. There's three different engine options you can do. Uh, there's two Ford engines and then a Cummins. And then there's uh, four different transmission options. So if you actually have this uh, mod in manual for the game, the shifter will actually move with you. So that's actually really cool. Unfortunately, I only have the automatic since I don't have a shifter. So we will just have to roll with that. But I think it still actually moves. No, so the regular shifter does. Okay. I get you. I understand now. So we're going to move it into drive. We can actually shut our... Uh, now we'll keep our lights on for now. But yes, we do have a load of computers. 4,963 pounds worth to the Leonard Warehouse in Hattiesburg. So let's go ahead and waste no time. And let's head on out there. But man, this truck does look super, super nice. I got different tire options and whatnot. And uh, yeah, very cool truck very cool looking truck indeed I don't know if we can actually pull like 53 foot dry van trailers maybe at the end of the video I'll try to mess around with it and see if we can I feel like that would be freaking amazing but let's go ahead and hop out on the open road here and let's make our way down to Mississippi all right about to leave the Walmart here got my little Idaho air freshener over there now there isn't too many like interior customization options that you can do uh, you have the GPS and then you have like the air freshener on the window and then there was an issue with the rear view mirror. So if you guys are having that issue, uh, Mason did end up adding it as an add-on in an update. So you can actually use it as a, or have the rear view, or you don't have it. I don't have it, but he did make it as a uh, interior option for the truck if you guys want. But I didn't, I don't have it in the game just in case. I mean, I didn't do any testing with it. I downloaded the newest update, but I didn't want to have, like, you know, a broken rear view mirror in the game and all that good stuff, so. Ooh, the morning commute traffic is up and running here in Pensacola. It's about 7 o'clock now, if I should say. The, the uh, speedometer and everything is calibrated properly, it seems like, so that is really good. But, yeah, man, very nice-looking truck. Very nice-looking truck indeed. Why are we all stopping? I swear it's like you get into a merge area and everyone goes stupid even though there's nobody merging. You're ready to turn left. All right. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good Monday so far. Back to work for me after having yesterday off. And uh, actually, I had like the last three days off for the most part, so that was kind of nice. Hopefully that my schedule kind of stays that way, so I'll have Mon or Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, which is amazing. Alright, finally got the green light. We do have a weird sound for the turn signal on this uh, truck. I'll say that for sure. There was a car that disappeared up, up over there. Interesting. 
It's so weird though, you know, going from driving semi trucks in this game to doing a like random hot shot load. And uh, you really gotta realize you don't have to turn so soon for these hot shot trailers because they just turn right with you. Like, you don't have to make, I mean, you still have to make like a wide turn, but you don't have to make too wide of a turn because the trailer's just right there. Now, the turning radius on these dualies, though, is uh, kind of bad. I'll say that. It is uh, kind of bad. But then again, it is, a it is a dually. It is a longer truck, so it makes sense. And comes the morning traffic. And look, hopefully this uh, trucker lets me in, which I'm glad he did. We'll go ahead and give him a little flash there. Just to be nice. But yeah, rush hour traffic is in full effect out here in Florida. And it looks like we're going to have to get into this lane. Jordan Carrier is going to have to wait. Got an early morning accident already off the bat. Gotta love it. Got to love it. But yes, so there's actually quite a few uh, mods that I've seen out for this game that re like require or not require, but involve you know hot shot or like tow trucks or something like that. So I'm actually kind of very excited to where the future of this game is going, not just from SES standpoint, but from like, you know, the modding community and everything. Because we now have this, you know, 1986 uh, Ford F-350 truck, and there's also a newer F-350 by Frank, something Frank Brazil, I believe. That's $10, and it comes with, you know, a whole bunch of different hotshot trailers and everything, but it's like the newer F-350. And then I think I seen a Dodge Ram that John Ruda was coming out with. So have some hot shot loads for that as well. So super excited to see where the game is going. And then of course we have that Freightliner Cascadia RV that for some reason just decided to break on us. So I'm not sure if they're going to get updated because I still do want to check that mod out. I may have to just download it from the ATS mod sites instead of the workshop just for us in order to uh, be able to check it out and all that good stuff. But man, we are really low on the view today, aren't we? Yes, we are. Keep going straight from what I can tell. We're going at the mobile exit, so we're about in mobile Alabama. But if you guys are wondering, the windows do roll down. Mobile has been discovered. Let's turn over here. Windows do roll down, and it's not like the automatic windows. You actually have that crank lever down there as well. Man, I feel like we're driving a squatted truck right now. We are struggling to get up this hill. We're really struggling. It's kind of weird though because I'm not used to having like the miles per hour on the you know very left hand side. I'm more used to it being in the center and the RPMs being on the left hand side. So I'm looking at my uh, RPMs thinking it's the speedometer and it's just like why am I only going 20 miles an hour? But nope that is the RPM gauge. And looks like we got Schaefer. Most valuable resource sits here. Even though I don't think it's a Schaefer company driver. It might be like an owner op or something. I'll say, okay, so he's turning. I was about to say, like, you're slowing down for no reason, bro. But this truck does have some pickup and go. I'll say that for sure. And I believe it's actually calibrated properly. So, yeah, the speedometer is calibrated properly, which is awesome. But yeah, there's no, like, options for a CB or anything like that. That's just, you know, the GPS. And then you can do, like, a window accessory, uh, your rear view mirror. And I'll show you guys all of this at the end of the video. And we'll do a better showcase of the truck here once we get into our destination. Right before we do. We have to pull in? Oh man. Of course, the one time we decide we want to do some hot shot, we have to pull into the way station. Gotta love it. Oh, I guess it's a port of entry, so it makes sense. But we went through Alabama and we didn't have to check in. 
Oh, well, we'll just go. It's our first time getting called into the way station in forever. It has been quite a while since we've actually been called into one. Let's find a new route. Just go right through the empty. <laughs> Even though we're not empty. Stop at the truck scale where old Prime is stopped at. And if you guys are wondering where the green, you know, like green uh, pop-ups and stuff are for these, they have been replaced. So vehicle gross weight is 28,490 pounds. I think we are definitely good to be on the roadway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But yes, if you guys are wondering where the green, like, pop-up uh, markers are for the game, those have actually been replaced with the icons mod, which you can find on the Steam Workshop. You gonna let me in, dude? You gonna let me in? Cause I'm just gonna take my way in. I appreciate it. I should be like one of those like hotshot drivers that drive a camper and stuff. Cause around here, we actually do have a lot of you know, I think it's like Indiana Transport or something like that, where they trans transport a lot of different like campers, pop up campers, and all that good stuff. I should drive like one of them because they're always hogging up the left lane, going like 80 miles an hour and everything but you know we do have computers on board so we do have some very you know fragile cargo I guess I should say that should hopefully be you know tied down and everything so we shouldn't have to worry too much but then again you never know you never know but I think we are going a little bit faster than an 85 yeah we're going 89 miles an hour which it looks like that is where this F-350 tops off at is about 90 yeah, it tops off at 90. So we're coming into Gulfport right now, and of course. Whew! That was a close call. That, <laughs> that was a close call for sure. So what we'll do is we'll just come over here and just go straight back up. Because it looks like the highway is open through that side. That is what we're doing. Going to continue straight on. Go straight on. These people would hurry up and make a turn. Wow. Just wow. You guys couldn't have not made your turn on a green light. Just wow. Gotta love the AI. Alright, so finally got the green light. and Finally they're going. I just adjusted my seat as this Rite Aid truck we're going to overtake real quick. 65 to 75. There we go. Alright, so I don't know exactly what happened there, but once we hit that on-ramp, the game ended up crashing. So I'm not exactly too sure what happened there, but it does give us some better opportunity now to take a look at the truck in the daylight now. And you guys can see, very, very, very cool looking. It is a dually. But I think there is an option to make it a non-dually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there is something in the customization option, so I'm not too sure. We'll have to figure that out together. It doesn't have license plates, though, so you won't have, like, your Nevada or whatever license plate. Neither does the Gooseneck trailer. So there are no license plates, but the lights on the trailers are weird because you just have that, like, LED strip at the bottom, which is your turn signals, hazards, and brake and taillights. So it's different. I've never seen a gooseneck like that before. But yes, we do have a very nice freeware truck. May I add freeware truck over here. Nice 1986 Ford F-350. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of Ford. I'm more of a Chevy guy. But I cannot beat an old square body truck. I feel like those are the best trucks that were ever made. Try to get back into traffic here. Oh, you're going to let me go? I appreciate it. Thank you. You're so kind. There's a Publix truck right there known to Florida, even though we're technically not in Florida anymore. We're going to come over here and get back up to speed. But yes, like I said, I'm more of a Chevy person, not a Ford. But I do like Dodge as well, even though Dodge has some pretty... Um, crappy transmissions for the most part, especially on our work trucks and all that. 
but I have heard a lot of bad things about Dodge transmissions. So, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm just more of a Chevy guy. I just want a Chevy truck. A nice lifted uh, Chevy Silverado, all black. I feel like that would be a nice looking truck to have. I've seen like different pictures and stuff, so I've got some ideas for the future. And all of that, once I get rid of this Camry that I have. Because I didn't really want the Camry, but, you know, it is what it is. It is a car, so that's all that matters. Alright, had to adjust my seat again because I did it at that on-ramp over there. And then, once the game crashed, I guess it didn't save. But yeah, like I said, just a short little run. Checking out the trailer and all that good stuff. And of course, people are going to slam on their brakes. Thankfully, we're not in the big rig today. You better not go, bro. You better not go. We're getting off here. Okay, I was about to say, it looks like we're getting off here. But there's Hattiesburg right there, 59 North. And that is where we're going. Keep right, exit right. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's go ahead and merge on to 59 North here. As we hop into Hattiesburg. Shouldn't be too much farther down the road. I'll try to clear out all this traffic here. If this Caprice go quicker or the Malibu or whatever it is there we go welcome to Mississippi we're not pulling into the all right we can bypass thank thank the Lord and that is what we were gonna do anyway just hide the DOT numbers on the window and we're good This car is not wanting to get back over. Let's see if we can get on his bumper. Maybe then he'll move over. Or slam on his brakes, one of the two. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. He was going to slam on his brakes. I knew it. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Might as well get back in behind this guy because I feel like our exit is coming up here shortly. Why are you slowing down, dude? Just go in the left lane and go around the semi. That's so what we're doing is going straight on. Probably shouldn't get too close because then I feel like they're just going to slam on their brakes in front of us and then and there goes our nice older style truck which we'll have to probably take to the scrapyard which we don't want to do. I'm going to go ahead and get in this line here. Looks like we're all good. Oh boy, I don't want to flip the truck over. So we max out at 90, so I'm hoping we can get around these three, these two cars over here. Then that one's slamming on their brakes for some unknown reason, because that's what people like to do. They like to pass people. And then once they pass them, they slam on their brakes. Makes no sense whatsoever. Try to get ahead of this guy here, but we're, oh, we're exiting here. We'll just pull the old what they do over here. Just pull the old go from the left lane straight to the right lane and call it a day. Be buying whole loves over here. All right, we are turning right. Somehow we got trailer damage, but Hattiesburg has been discovered, and I, I think I think we're going to Leonard. That's what I think I said was Leonard. Gonna be behind old Trans Am here until we make our turn. turn. 
All right, so once we get to our destination, back our trailer and all that good stuff, we're actually going to test out if this bad boy can pull a 53-foot uh, tri-van trailer. Uh, pro I don't feel like it's going to work, but we're going to test it out just because I feel like that would be funny. And if it does work, well, then we're going to take that trip. We're going to take a drive around wherever our nearest garage is and uh, just drive that around. Might do a load with it. I don't know. But I feel like that would be a funny um, trip or whatever. Or I might just save it for another video. Yeah, 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 I think I'll save it for another video if it works. Nope, we're making this light. Yep, there it is, the Lunner. Got a donut shop. Uh, next one, we're turning right at that BP over there. Turn right and turn right. Sounds like a plan, lady. Turning right. Let's put on the flashers. Building supplies. Looks like they need some new computers for their office or something. Let the gate open. And uh, where do they want this bad boy? It looks like towards the back. Aha, uh -huh, so right in there. But it looks like we can actually pull around and just do a pull through so we don't actually have to back up. So we'll make this a hundred times easier on ourselves. Since with the semi, we probably won't be able to do it. But since we're running hot shot, we might. We just might. And then we're just going to pull right through. Get our, you know, experience points for backing in, even though we didn't really back in. Booyah. All right, let's unload the cargo. So we went 242 miles, 64.6 .6 gallons of fuel, 5 hours and 11 minutes in game time for $9,912. We did get the trailer maneuvering bonus. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and see if this thing can hook up and pull a dry van trailer. Oh my God. Dude. It can pull a dry van trailer. Bro. Oh my god. Not the most legit, but it works. It can pull it. That's awesome. Oh, we are definitely going to make another video on this. Definitely will have a longer run, though. Oh, that is freaking cool. Yep, we are going to make another video on this here soon. That is awesome. I just can't believe it worked. I thought, I didn't think it was going to work. I thought, like, my game was going to crash or something. But no, it, it, it works. It's legit. Electrical and everything worked, too, even though I don't know how it's hooked up, but it works. Bro, this just takes ATS hotshot slash trucking to a, to a whole new level. Okay, okay. All right, well, I'm going to go show you guys the different customization options for this because I'm kind of excited to make this video now with this truck and trailer. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and head, head to the customization shop and I'll show you guys the different options. All right, so here we are, online truck purchase. You have to go to your uh, mod dealer. And there is a garage for or a shop for Ford now, so it doesn't have to go through any of you know the major trucking. You just have one for Ford, and then we customize. Now there's one cabin. Uh, there's two different chassis or chassis, but for some reason they l pretty much are the same to me because it says standard with lower hitch, and then standard gal. So nothing actually moves and nothing changes as far as I'm aware. So I don't know what the di difference is, but here's the three engines we have. We have a Ford 6.9, 161 horsepower, 170, and then a Cummins 6BT 12 valve, 160 horsepower. So I think we had the 170 horsepower on the truck that we used. So I think the next time we'll use the Cummins 6 12 valve. Uh, we got a 3 to a 6-speed manual transmission, so it just depends on which one you want. 
And the customization options for the interior is just, you know, different interior uh, colors and stuff. There are four to choose from. We had the blue, but I think the red looks really good. And I like, I really like the tan. I should have went with the tan. I think we'll go with that one next time. We do got, like, different cut color options that you can do. Uh, there's five different, like, preset ones. This one actually kind of looks pretty badass, I'll say that. And then we have just, you know, regular, you can create your own two-tone. This is what we had was the two-tone. And then you can get like an old rusty style F-150 if you, or F-350 if you want. And then you can have this type of, you know, style as well. Not sure why it defaults to like the lime green, but it does. And it actually doesn't look too bad, that black and white. That looks really good. I like that. And then we can also do this one, which is the, pretty much the same. Except it's the two the the colors aren't changeable. Getting into the options here, or the accessories as SES ATS calls them, we put an oversized load banner. Um, I might need this for the <laughs> dry fan trailer. I'm not gonna lie, but we do got different options for like chrome for your bumper. You could do painted bumper and all of that good stuff. That actually doesn't look too bad. And then we have, that's, I think that's your interior. Yeah, that's the interior, I'm pretty sure. And then we have painted and standard. I think it's the grill. And then we have the outline of the grill. So we have black. I think that's the rear view mirror. Yeah, that's the rear view that you can add. That's painted. That's like a little sun shield or whatever it's called. We have two different mirrors on this truck. We have this style and then the style that we used. I like this style a lot better though. I don't know why, but we do have the other one as well. On both sides, we have three different places for the GPS. It's the same GPS, just goes three different places in the cab. And then we have box and rack. So I'll just show you guys what the box and rack looks like because if you just get rid of one, it just looks like the other. So you get rid of the box, you have a box and then a rack. You just have the headache, the, the rack in the back of the uh, truck there. Nothing too fancy. Then we have different pipes you can put on the truck as well. We had the side exhaust or the side dump on our run today, but we can do like shotgun pipes. Uh, we can do dual pipes, which you guys see there. And there are the dual pipes, the five inch pipes, which is down back towards the rear passenger side of the truck. And then you have your stock, which is just, you know, your tiny little exhaust. And then we have different tires here. So we have a couple different ones we can do. So yeah, you can change it out from a dually to a non-dually if you wanted to. We used the Ford wide tires today because they look they look really good, the wide tires. So we had them on the back, not on the front though. I think that's everything. We can add radiance to it if we really wanted to. Um, probably not going to do that just because we're in a gooseneck. We don't really need radiance. So we can add like lettering and stuff to the back of the truck, I'm pretty sure. I think that's what it was. Yes, yeah, so we can add like different bumper stickers and stuff. So we have Cummins, Locally Hated, all of that fun stuff. And then I think there's another one. Yeah, we got Ford and then I don't know what stock is. Or just probably just the window. Yeah. Oh, so we can add our own. We can add like flags and like the Ford emblem and whatever and all of that good stuff. So that's really cool. I didn't notice that when I first did the, the uh, truck, so that's new. To me, we can add the handles that are chrome or painted back there, which is awesome. We got the sun shield. I think that's everything, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so there it is, Dually and then non dually That doesn't really seem like it does much. It just changes the color. I don't know. And then this is the, uh, looks like the step. We got the stock step over there. Add the lights on, the pipes, and then that's just your trim. That's the dually emoji pillow. That's for the back seat. I think that's everything on the outside that we just looked at. And then on the inside, we got two different steering wheels. Um, we have the mirrors. This is what I was talking about with the GPS. You have it in the top left, bottom left, and then the center. 
and then rear view mirror gets you can turn that off and you have like these different SISL or steam or the SCS interior thing mega pack and then that is pretty much it then we have the emoji pillow those are the pipes and that's probably the tool yeah the, the uh, box and rack and we can add something in the passenger seat too if we really wanted to but yeah guys that is pretty much the truck now like I said I'm really excited that we can actually pull a freaking dry van trailer so we'll definitely have to test out this truck with the dry van trailer here soon uh, that's going to be a fun one for sure but uh, DOT will not like it but we'll just you know skip the way stations and do all of that good stuff but that's going to go and do it for this one guys really hope you guys did enjoy the video I will catch you guys here on the next one. Make sure you guys hit the like button and that subscribe button on the way out. And yeah, guys, hopefully you have a good rest of your day and a good start to your week. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.